Next, police say the baby found during the investigation into Constance Martin and Mark Gordon, uh, quote, may have been dead for some time. Officers have been giving an update into the search and say uh, the case has now been referred to the police watchdog. My team have been working on this investigation for the past eight weeks and we have travelled across the country as part of our searches for this baby. We are truly devastated by the outcome and we know this emotion is being felt here in Brighton and across the country today. We know there are still many unanswered questions and it is important that we give the investigation team the time and space they need to establish more details about the circumstances of this tragic death. At this stage, we have not yet been able to confirm the baby's gender and a post-mortem examination has not yet taken place. Despite this, based on our inquiries we've carried out so far, we believe, sadly, the baby may have been dead for some time before they were found. It's too early for us to provide a more specific date. So, uh, unfortunately, some distressing details there in that update from uh, the police. We can go to our correspondent, Frankie McCamley. Hi there, Frankie. Could you just uh, give us a bit of context there about those police uh, words which were just delivered in a, in a brief statement just in the last hour? Well, yes, Lewis, it was a brief statement. Police clearly weren't taking any questions. They haven't on many occasions uh, throughout this huge search operation that's been taking place. And just before that police conference, we saw both uh, detectives, uh, superintendents that came to give that conference. They just came behind me and laid uh, flowers from each force, the force uh, from the Met Police. Uh, their card read sympathies from staff at the Metropolitan Police and a very similar one from Sussex Police. So clearly a case that has affected a lot of people here and we've heard a lot of times in these statements they've given that this isn't the outcome they wanted it's something they really didn't want to see um, and really the police there saying that this was such a huge complex investigation that they've been working on for two months now and they really asked the media the public not to speculate and uh, some really disturbing um, information there as you mentioned and we and we just saw that the police understand that this infant had been there for some time and they still haven't managed to find uh, find out the gender of this baby so this post-mortem still needs to take place they still need to confirm the identity of this infant and find out so many more details how did they end up here what happened to them still so many unanswered questions and the police officers also talked talked about this outcry of public support and just to give you an idea of where I am I'm in the middle of a residential area the areas that are cordoned off are allotments that people are trying to get to every day there are walks through the woods where people are trying to take their dogs and they simply can't do that at the moment an area where police have been going door to door asking people to check their gardens for something suspicious so this is a community this is a real residential area that has been really affected by this and one thing they've decided to do this evening is light a candle on their porches in a show of what they describe love and light this evening for this tragedy that's happened here, Lewis. Yeah, Frank, you started to touch on it there, the impact of all this on people there, not least the scale of the search, uh, that 48-hour search initially. Now we know that the number of officers uh, will be reduced for obvious reasons. But what has been the impact there? Well, I think there is a real impact here. You know, people are just driving past me now, going to work, coming home. We've seen loads of school children going to school, coming back, questioning what's going on. Just up uh, about five minutes walk from here, the allotment that's been cordoned off. That cordon's getting larger and larger as more police personnel, forensics uh, arrive on the scene. More and more police vans, you know, there we go. Forensics just passing us now. Um, but coming through an area that's generally quite quiet and police people just trying to come to terms with what's happened here and and like I say this evening they really want to show this this sense of love and light for this awful tragedy that's happened here and and rocked an area that is usually rather quiet okay Frankie we'll leave it there thank you very much